Have you ever received a faulty product or experienced poor customer service? Quality control and assurance can help prevent these types of issues. In our course on quality control and assurance, you'll learn about the importance of ensuring that products consistently meet predetermined quality standards. We'll explore the process of designing, implementing, and maintaining a system to ensure that products are safe, reliable, and meet customer expectations. Effective quality control and assurance can also help reduce costs by identifying and correcting defects early in the production process. Throughout the course, we'll cover various aspects of monitoring and measuring product performance, functionality, and durability. You'll also learn about the techniques and tools used in quality control and assurance, such as statistical process control, Six Sigma, and lean manufacturing. Join us as we explore the ongoing processes required for effective quality control and assurance, including regular evaluation and improvement to ensure continued effectiveness. Number 1. Quality control is the process of inspecting and testing products to ensure they meet predetermined quality standards. Have you ever purchased a product that didn't meet your expectations? Maybe it didn't work properly or fell apart soon after you bought it. Poor quality products can be frustrating and disappointing for consumers, and they can also be damaging for businesses. That's why quality control is so important. Quality control is the process of inspecting and testing products to ensure they meet predetermined quality standards. This involves checking products at various stages of the production process, from raw materials to finished goods, to ensure that they are free from defects and meet the required specifications. The aim is to identify any issues early on and correct them before the product is shipped to customers. There are many different methods of quality control, depending on the industry and type of product. For example, in the food industry, quality control might involve testing for contaminants or measuring the nutritional content of the product. In the automotive industry, quality control might involve testing for safety and durability. By implementing quality control measures, businesses can ensure that their products are safe, reliable, and meet customer expectations. This can lead to increased customer satisfaction, loyalty, and repeat business. It can also help businesses to save money by identifying and correcting defects early in the production process, rather than after the product has been shipped. Overall, quality control is an essential part of any business that produces goods. By ensuring that products meet predetermined quality standards, businesses can build a reputation for reliability and quality, which can lead to long-term success. Number 2. Quality assurance is the process of designing, implementing, and maintaining a system to ensure that products consistently meet those standards. Have you ever wondered why some products seem to consistently meet high standards of quality, while others vary in their quality from one purchase to the next? The answer lies in quality assurance. Quality assurance is the process of designing, implementing, and maintaining a system to ensure that products consistently meet predetermined quality standards. This involves creating a set of guidelines and procedures that ensure that all aspects of the production process are carried out in a consistent and reliable manner. By implementing quality assurance measures, businesses can help to ensure that their products are of a consistently high quality, which can lead to increased customer satisfaction and loyalty. The quality assurance process typically involves the following steps. 1. Defining quality standards and objectives. 2. Designing and implementing a quality management system. 3. Measuring and analyzing quality performance. 4. Identifying areas for improvement. 5. Continuously improving the quality management system. The goal of quality assurance is to create a culture of quality within a business, where everyone from management to production workers is committed to delivering products of the highest quality. By doing so, businesses can differentiate themselves from competitors, build a reputation for quality, and increase customer satisfaction and loyalty. In conclusion, quality assurance is a critical component of any business that produces goods. By implementing a system that ensures consistent quality, businesses can increase customer satisfaction and loyalty, and ultimately achieve long-term success. Number 3. 
quality control and assurance are important for businesses to ensure that their products are safe, reliable, and meet customer expectations. As a consumer, you rely on businesses to provide products that are safe, reliable, and meet your expectations. When businesses fail to meet these standards, it can lead to disappointment, frustration, and even harm. That's why quality control and assurance are so important. Quality control and assurance are processes that businesses use to ensure that their products are safe, reliable, and meet customer expectations. Quality control involves inspecting and testing products to ensure they meet predetermined quality standards, while quality assurance involves designing and implementing a system to ensure that products consistently meet those standards. By implementing quality control and assurance measures, businesses can minimize the risk of producing faulty or unsafe products. This can help to protect their customers, reduce liability, and safeguard their reputation. It can also lead to increased customer satisfaction, loyalty, and repeat business. For businesses, quality control and assurance can be a competitive advantage. By producing products of consistently high quality, businesses can differentiate themselves from competitors and build a reputation for reliability and excellence. This can lead to increased market share, brand recognition, and long-term success. Overall, quality control and assurance are essential components of any business that produces goods. By ensuring that their products are safe, reliable, and meet customer expectations, businesses can build trust with their customers, differentiate themselves from competitors, and achieve long-term success. Number 4. Quality control and assurance can help reduce costs by identifying and correcting defects early in the production process. Have you ever purchased a product that didn't work properly, or that fell apart soon after you bought it? These kinds of issues can be frustrating for consumers, but they can also be costly for businesses. That's why quality control and assurance are so important. Quality control and assurance can help to reduce costs by identifying and correcting defects early in the production process. By catching problems early, businesses can avoid costly rework, scrap, and product recalls. This can also help to minimize the risk of liability claims, which can be very expensive for businesses. For example, let's say that a business produces a batch of products that have a defect in their design. Without quality control and assurance measures in place, this defect may not be discovered until after the products have been shipped to customers. This could result in a costly recall, which would not only be expensive in terms of direct costs such as shipping and handling, but could also damage the company's reputation. On the other hand, if the business had implemented quality control and assurance measures, the defect could have been caught early in the production process, before the products were shipped. This would allow the business to correct the problem before it became a larger issue, and could save the company a significant amount of money. In conclusion, quality control and assurance are essential components of any business that produces goods. By identifying and correcting defects early in the production process, businesses can reduce costs, minimize the risk of liability claims, and protect their reputation. Overall, these measures can help businesses to achieve long-term success and profitability. Number 5. Quality control and assurance involve monitoring and measuring various aspects of a product, including its performance, functionality, and durability. Have you ever wondered how businesses ensure that their products meet quality standards? The answer lies in quality control and assurance. These processes involve monitoring and measuring various aspects of a product to ensure that it performs as expected and meets customer needs. Quality control and assurance can involve a wide range of tests and measurements, depending on the type of product being produced. For example, a car manufacturer might test a vehicle's brakes to ensure that they meet safety standards, while a food manufacturer might test a product's taste and texture to ensure that it meets customer expectations. Other aspects that might be monitored and measured include a product's functionality, durability, reliability, and performance under different conditions. By monitoring these factors, businesses can identify potential issues early in the production process and take steps to correct them before they become larger problems. 
In addition to monitoring and measuring products, quality control and assurance can also involve monitoring and measuring the production process itself. By measuring things like raw material quality, manufacturing efficiency, and employee performance, businesses can identify areas for improvement and take steps to optimize their production processes. Overall, quality control and assurance are essential components of any business that produces goods. By monitoring and measuring various aspects of their products and production processes, businesses can ensure that they are producing high-quality products that meet customer needs and expectations. This can help to increase customer satisfaction, reduce costs, and ultimately lead to long-term success and profitability. Number 6. Quality control and assurance can also involve evaluating the effectiveness of a company's processes and making improvements to increase efficiency and productivity. In today's competitive business world, efficiency and productivity are key to success. That's why quality control and assurance processes often involve evaluating a company's processes and making improvements to increase efficiency and productivity. Quality control and assurance can help businesses identify areas where processes can be optimized or streamlined, and then make changes to increase efficiency and productivity. This might involve automating certain processes, simplifying procedures, or reorganizing workflow to eliminate unnecessary steps. For example, a business might use quality control and assurance processes to evaluate their supply chain management. By measuring things like delivery times, inventory turnover, and supplier reliability, they can identify areas for improvement and then make changes to streamline the supply chain and increase efficiency. Similarly, quality control and assurance can be used to evaluate a business's manufacturing processes. By monitoring factors like cycle time, defect rates, and employee productivity, businesses can identify opportunities to optimize production and increase efficiency. By making improvements to their processes, businesses can increase productivity, reduce costs, and ultimately achieve greater success. This can also lead to higher levels of customer satisfaction, as products are delivered more quickly and at a lower cost. In conclusion, quality control and assurance are not just about ensuring that products meet predetermined quality standards. They also involve evaluating and improving a company's processes to increase efficiency and productivity. By using these processes to optimize their operations, businesses can gain a competitive advantage and achieve long-term success. Number 7. Quality control and assurance are typically carried out by a dedicated team within a company, often referred to as the quality control or assurance department. Have you ever wondered who is responsible for ensuring that a company's products meet quality standards? In most cases, it's a dedicated team within the company known as the quality control or assurance department. This team is responsible for implementing quality control and assurance processes throughout the company, monitoring and measuring products and production processes, and making improvements to increase efficiency and productivity. The quality control or assurance department might include a range of professionals, including quality engineers, inspectors, and technicians. These professionals have specialized training and expertise in areas like statistical process control, product testing, and quality management. In addition to implementing and managing quality control and assurance processes, the quality control or assurance department is also responsible for training employees throughout the company on quality control and assurance procedures. This helps to ensure that everyone in the organization understands the importance of quality and is committed to maintaining high standards. Overall, the quality control or assurance department plays a critical role in ensuring that a company's products meet quality standards and that the company operates efficiently and effectively. By employing dedicated professionals with specialized expertise, companies can maintain a focus on quality and continuously improve their products and processes to stay competitive in the market. Number 8 quality control and assurance can involve a variety of techniques and tools, such as statistical process control, Six Sigma, and lean manufacturing. Ensuring high-quality products is no easy feat that's why quality control and assurance often involve a variety of techniques and tools to help businesses maintain quality standards and continuously improve their processes. 
Some of the most common techniques and tools used in quality control and assurance include statistical process control, Six Sigma, and lean manufacturing. Statistical process control, SPC, is a technique used to monitor and control production processes. By using statistical methods to analyze data from production processes, SPC can help businesses identify and correct issues before they result in defective products. SPC involves setting control limits for specific process variables, monitoring the variables over time, and taking corrective action when the variables fall outside of the control limits. Six Sigma is another popular quality control and assurance technique. It involves a structured approach to improving quality and reducing defects in products and processes. Six Sigma uses statistical analysis to identify and eliminate causes of defects and involves a team-based approach to problem solving. Lean manufacturing is a philosophy that emphasizes the elimination of waste and the optimization of production processes. By focusing on value-added activities and minimizing non-value-added activities, lean manufacturing can help businesses increase efficiency, reduce costs, and improve quality. Overall, quality control and assurance techniques and tools are critical to ensuring that businesses can consistently produce high-quality products. By using these methods to monitor and improve production processes, businesses can reduce waste, increase efficiency, and ultimately deliver better products to their customers. Number 9. Quality control and assurance are often regulated by industry-specific standards and regulations, such as ISO 9001 for quality management systems. Ensuring high-quality products is not just a matter of best practices, it's often regulated by industry-specific standards and regulations. Quality control and assurance processes must often comply with these standards and regulations to meet legal and safety requirements. One such standard is ISO 9001, which sets requirements for a quality management system, QMS. This standard covers a wide range of areas, including leadership, customer focus, process management, and continuous improvement. By adhering to the ISO 9001 standard, businesses can demonstrate their commitment to quality and continuous improvement, which can help them build trust with customers and gain a competitive advantage in the market. Other industry-specific standards and regulations may apply to certain products or industries. For example, the food industry must comply with regulations like the Food Safety Modernization Act while the automotive industry must comply with standards like the International Automotive Task Force's IATF 16949. Complying with these regulations and standards can be a complex process, but it's critical for ensuring that products meet safety and quality requirements. Quality control and assurance teams must stay up to date on the latest standards and regulations, and ensure that their processes are designed and implemented in a way that meets these requirements. Overall, industry-specific standards and regulations are an important aspect of quality control and assurance. By complying with these standards, businesses can ensure that their products are safe, reliable, and meet customer expectations, while also demonstrating their commitment to quality and continuous improvement. Number 10. Quality control and assurance are ongoing processes that require regular evaluation and improvement to ensure continued effectiveness. Quality control and assurance are not one-time events, they are ongoing processes that require constant evaluation and improvement. Businesses must continually monitor their products and processes, identify areas for improvement, and implement changes to ensure that their products meet quality standards and customer expectations. Continuous improvement is a key aspect of quality control and assurance. By regularly evaluating and improving their processes, businesses can reduce costs, improve efficiency, and enhance product quality. This involves using data and feedback to identify areas for improvement, setting goals and targets for improvement, and implementing changes to achieve those goals. One tool that can help businesses achieve continuous improvement is the Plan Do Check Act, PDCA, cycle. This cycle involves four stages, planning, doing, checking, and acting. In the planning stage, businesses identify areas for improvement and set goals for improvement. 
In the doing stage, they implement changes to achieve those goals. In the checking stage, they evaluate the effectiveness of those changes. Finally, in the acting stage, they make further changes to continue improving. Another key aspect of ongoing quality control and assurance is training and development. Quality control and assurance teams must stay up to date on the latest tools, techniques, and regulations, and continually develop their skills and knowledge to ensure that they can effectively identify and address quality issues. In summary, quality control and assurance are ongoing processes that require regular evaluation and improvement. Continuous improvement, using tools like the PDCA cycle, is critical for ensuring that products meet quality standards and customer expectations. Ongoing training and development is also essential for quality control and assurance teams to stay up-to-date and effective in their roles.